Hey guys, so one of the things you need to know how to do in Microsoft Word is knowing how to save your document in other formats. And I'll explain in a minute why we need to be able to do this. But first, let me show you how we do that. Here you can see I have a document in front of us. And I'm going to go File, and we're going to go Save As. Okay, Save As. On some versions, it says Save a Copy. On other versions, it might say Export, or it might say File, Save As. Uh, there, there are a couple of differences, but on this version, Office 365, this should be the latest one. It says Save As. So where's your file? Save As. Save As. Right, now, at the moment I've got a whole whack of things here, but let's make this easy. Okay, let's make this easy. So first things first, I'm going to click on more options, more options. The reason I do that is because now I have more options. Haha. <laughs> so uh, here we have the file name, so we'll call that my file, very original, and save as type. So this is the type of file, here are the options that we have when we're saving this document. Let's have a look. So I'm going to click on my drop down arrow and you can see that I have a bunch of options right here. I've got from a Word document, which is the default one, to a Word macro enabled, a 97 to 2003 document. This is very handy if you're going to save this for someone who has an older version of Microsoft Word on their computer. So this is when you would save your document as an older version so that they can then see the content in your document. Okay, there we have templates, We've got PDF, you can save this as a PDF right now. XPS is Microsoft's version of a PDF. So it's very similar to PDF, but it's a very uh, Microsoft specific technology and that's called XPS. You can save this as a web page. Um, what else? Uh, rich text format, plain text format as well, or an XML document or a strict open XML document. I don't actually know what that is. So, or an open text document, ODT. Open text document is for open source versions of um, word processors like LibreOffice or OpenOffice. Okay, so if I wanted to save this as a PDF, for example, I would do the whole file save as, I would go and choose a PDF and you can see it says my file dot PDF. I will then choose a location and save it. So that is how we choose different options when saving. I'm going to just show you one more time, okay? Just so I recap that for you guys. Let's go back. So here we are back in our document. We want to save this as an older version of Word. So someone who has an older version can access this. So file, save as, and I'm going to click over here. In fact, last time I went to more options, let me just cancel that. Last time I went to more options, you can actually, it actually has it right there. So let's just go my file. I didn't see that the first time, sorry. And click on here and here you can see here are all the various options that we have. I will save this as a Word 97 to 2003 version document, which is a .doc file. And that's if they need to edit it. Obviously, if they don't need to edit it, PDF, PDF for everybody, okay. And there you go, save as and all the various options that you have.